hello guys what's up my name is gj manuel and in today's video we're going to be seeing how to launch some spot instances on aws ec2 spot instances are unused ec2 instances which are available for less than the on-demand price spot instances at times can be 60 percent 70 percent 80 percent even 90 percent cheaper than the on-demand instances and if you are a, a solution architect and you're thinking of maybe reducing the cost of your instances you can go use spot instances but there's something i want you to remember spot instances are dangerous especially when they are running in the production environment if you're running spot instances in a test environment where you don't care that's fine but if you're running spot instances in the production environment you have to be very very careful why because amazon can take back these instances from you can take back those servers from you so you have to be very very careful when you're playing around with um spot instances so in today's video we'll be seeing how to launch our own spot instances in aws so to launch our spot instance the first thing we have to do is to log in into our aws management console so click on sign in then i'm going to sign in as a root user that's fine then it's going to ask me for some verification check security check i think i can see this one so that's going to be w six p g six x Great, it's gonna ask me for a password. That's fine. And I'm in my AWS management console. So click on instances. Click on launch instances. Then choose the Amazon Linux 2 AMI, that's fine. You can use any AMI you want, that's fine. I just prefer to use the Amazon Linux 2 AMI. Click on select. Then it's going to ask us to choose an instance type. So T2 Micro is fine. Click on configure. I'll deploy this in my VPC. Then this is where the magic happens. So it says purchase an option. I'm going to request spot instances. As you can see, Amazon gives me, gi uh, gives me some uh, availability zones then their current prices so uh i'm going to deploy this in uh us is 1a and the current price there is this amount so that's what i'm gonna pay so i'm gonna pay that amount so let me just take that okay great then i'm gonna put this in us is 1a that's fine um, so to to when you're launching your spot instance you have to request for that spot instance by checking this box right here then click on add storage storage is fine click on add tag then i'll just give my instance a name tag so i'm gonna give it a name i'll call it spot i'll call it spot instance then i'll hit enter then i'll hit configure security group then for security group, I'll just leave it on the default security group. That's fine. Review and launch. Launch. I'm going to proceed without a key pair. Then launch. As you can see, our EC2 instance is launching. I'll come back after our EC2 instance has a fully launch. So as you can see, let me go back to instances. So as you can see, it says pending. I'll come back when the instance is fully running. Okay, guys, now that our EC2 instance is uh, running right here, let's go and view our spot request. So to view your spot request, I want you to click on spot request on the left. Then you have your spot request right here. This is mine right here. Click, click on that. And as you can see, this is our spot request. And this is the instant the instance ID. So if I go back instances and I open this instance and 
see this ID right here? If you go back right here, you see it's the same ID. So this is our um, spot instance. So the max price we're willing to pay is 0 0.004. So let's go back to spot instance again. So the next thing you can do is see our saving summary. So click on that. As you can see, we we are saving about seventy percent compared to if we had on demand instance. Then another thing we can see is the um, pricing history. So I can go here. I can I can look at T two micro. Let me see T two T two micro right here. And yeah, I can have an idea. I can say okay, maybe last three months. And I can have an idea of my uh, pricing history. And spot placement score. I'm not going to touch that. So, but what is important is your saving summary. So this is the beauty of spot instances. As you can see, using spot instances, I'm able to save up to seventy percent. I don't know why it's not loading. Uh, let me see. Let me just check if my connection is fine. My connection is okay. So guys, let me go back to spot request. Let me select this. Let me hit on saving summary. Okay guys, so as you can see, using spot instances, I was able to save up to 70% uh, of what I would usually pay if I was um, playing around with on-demand instances. As you can see, on demand instance is 0 0.001, uh, then uh, the spot instance is 0 0.0035, so that's 70% cheaper than the on demand instance. But the problem with this uh, spot instance is that if someone comes tomorrow and the person is willing to pay uh, 0 0.001, what AWS is going to do is they will take this instance back from me with about within, I think it's within five um minutes notification they will just send me a notification and be like hey we're gonna take this instance back in five minutes so guys that was how to create uh, a spot instance you create spot instances in case you want to save costs on your ec2 instances or in case you're running a test environment thank you for watching do not forget to subscribe and do not forget to leave a comment below in case you have a question bye